Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here, and today we're going to talk about these three isopods as Batesian mimics of, in one case, a venomous spider, and in two cases, poisonous millipedes. Let's look at Armadillidium maculatum zebra. This classic of the hobby has long been thought to be a mimic of Glomeris marginata, a pill millipede. They do co inside in their range to quite a bit, and as you can see from this photo here, they look quite similar, enough so that a potential predator of the uh, isopod that has encountered the poisonous millipede before will uh, probably think twice before trying to eat it. So that's, that's kind of an interesting thing about this uh, isopod that may partially explain why it and others, these others here, tend to be fairly visible and active because they may not have to have a uh, a need, as great a need, to flee from predators as some other isopods. Now let's look at another isopod that mimics a poisonous millipede, and that is Armadillidium gestroi. And it is thought to mimic, again, a pill millipede. And the pill millipede is Glomeris fustulata. As you can see, there's quite a bit of resemblance here as well. Note that the resemblance doesn't have to be exact, as long as it is enough to cause predators to be less likely to eat the mimic if they have encountered the model before. So it seems that this resemblance is enough to confer a survival advantage on Armadillidium gestroi. And last but not least, let's look at Armadillidium klugi. And this is a Montenegro locality, um, klugi. And as you can see here, it's got some red coloration with the white spots, and it is thought to mimic the European uh, widow, Latrodectus tridecim guttatus. The resemblance is not perfect, but especially when an individual like this is in a conglobated state, it probably resembles the abdomen of one of these uh, black widow relatives closely enough that predators are less likely to attack it, thinking they might get a bite from a venomous spider. Very short video today, but hopefully that you found that interesting. If you'd like me to do more videos of this type, where we just kind of delve into some topics that don't relate directly to isopod husbandry, but are more about their ecology or other things like that, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd like to thank my patrons, and you'll see a list of patrons here in the video. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.